Hello everybody, Joshua here, and welcome to this Sims 3 house building video. Now today it's um, considerably shorter than uh, last time, and the reason for this is because I don't really have that much time, because um, I'm working on a bunch of other stuff. Even though it is the summer, um, I still have a bunch of projects I'm working on, um, which you will see um, in a few months, maybe next month, um, so you know, you'll see those, but for now, um, I just wanted to get out in our house building video, so today I am building a one bedroom one bathroom cottage in um, the Sim Supplies Luna Island because I wanted to build it kind of over the water. And there's no other world that has kind of um, cliff lots and kind of ocean lots like this one does. So that's what I decided to do. So as you can see here, I'm working on the roof and um, I really like the way the roof turned out on this house because it's kind of, um, which you, you'll see how that goes along, it's kind of um, only kind of covers the main, well it covers the whole thing, but it's it's really hard to explain. You'll see as we do it. You can see I'm just removing the floor, so it's kind of hollow under the porches, but there's um, actual support under the roof, which you can see there, um, which I think was kind of cool. I like the way that turned out. Um, it took a little bit of time to get it just right, but uh, I, liked, I really like the way it turned out. So now this house um, is quite small, as you can see. It's based off just a rectangular shape here. Um, and it's just one level, um, and one bedroom, one bathroom, like I said. It's also got a laundry room. Uh, not that that is incredibly important, but, you know, it's got that. Um, it's right on the beach. As you can see, it's really close. It's not over the water, but it's right up against it. So, you know, you really do have stunning views here. Um, also, on this house, um, there's a giant, not really giant, but um, a good-sized um, dock for your boats. It's a little bit high up, um, which you'll see, but it turns out really nicely. So right here, I'm just putting in the fencing. I'm going to get some columns in. I had a bit of trouble choosing what column I wanted to use. Um, they went through quite a bit of options, um, even considering the ones from Roaring Heights, but I went through here, um, just looking through, um, eventually I just used some basic ones from the base game because they kind of just fit in the best, those right there. Um, now, the color scheme and the landscaping, I really love how they turn out, you can see we're starting on that now. Um, it's going to be really brightly colored, the house itself is a salmon color, um, and it's kind of part of the name, Coral Cottage, because coral uh, reefs are brightly colored. Um, so, you know, it's a brightly colored house, inside it's turquoise, um, and, you know, it looks really nice. I like the way it turned out. It's very cheerful and colorful, yet it's still, um, sophisticated, and it's not too childish inside. Um, but you'll see as we get to that, um, still just messing around with the roof here. I do create a little extension on this side here, but I don't have the, uh, peaked roof over it. Just because that's where the laundry room is going to be, so you'll see that, um, as we progress along. So yeah, just, um, the whole house is just all siding, um, there's no stone or brick or anything, because it just doesn't seem appropriate. So you can see here, I just, um, use just all salmon colored siding, and either you'll like it or you won't, but, um, you can, um, easily change it if you download the house, so that won't be a problem at all. So, right here, I'm just coming through and changing all the railing colors, um, and making it all nice and white, nice crisp colored. Um, railings, and I'm just coming in here and um, just touching up everything, making sure it all looks nice. And the floor plan um, is what we're doing here. Um, that's it. That's the floor plan right there. Um, as you can see, it's very basic. Um, but there's just a bathroom, which is the square room in the middle. The bedroom is off to the side, and the laundry room is the rectangular room. Yeah, so it's just very simple um, design. Um, we're putting in windows now. So I have these nice windows in the front, and I have these into the future elongated windows over that. Um, but since there's no vaulted ceiling in the house, because I wanted to obviously have ceiling lights, I um, just black out those windows upstairs, um, the ones up there, as you can see here. I'm just trying to figure it out. Um, so I do block, um, not block, I black them out. Um, so all you see through is just blackness, um, which turns out fine. Um, as you can see, I'm just making it black. So when you look through it, you don't see anything through there. Um, but it just adds a nice touch of detail from outside, and I really like the way that it turned out. So right here, I'm just um, adding more windows onto the back. Um, the same as the front, same windows, same pattern. Um, a couple small windows on the side there um, for the laundry room. And also the um, bedroom gets a bunch of windows as well. Um, I'll add a few more windows as we go along just to get a little bit more light in the house. But that's pretty much it for now. So I'm just coming inside here. I'm putting in a fireplace um, about, where is it going to be? I think it goes right there, yeah. So I put a fireplace in. I like the chimney because it looks quite quaint. And we're um, coming outside for a bit of landscaping here. Now, I love the landscaping on this house. It is just amazing. Uh, I really like the way it turned out. It's very bright and cheerful and colorful. Um, so you see here, I'm just kind of putting in all the bushes and stuff. Lots of flowers and um, rocks and stuff. And um, what am I doing here? I'm going to do the um, dock. Yeah, I'm doing the dock here. I um, just took a break from landscaping, but I will finish it later. Um, 
yeah, anyway, yeah, the landscaping will be really nice. It's going to have a lot of colors and a lot of trees, palm trees and stuff. So you'll see that. Um, and right here, I'm just doing the dock, which gave me quite a bit of a headache to do because I'm trying to get stairs so it would kind of go down uh, nicely into the water, but it just didn't want to cooperate until I um, used a bit of constraint for elevation to get it to work. Um, so you can see here, I'm just messing around um, with stuff that is obviously not going to work. Um, yeah, so. I end up just using some constraint for elevation to make it work properly here. Um, but it turned out really nice. Um, it's a little bit tall for a dock, but it's alright. When the high tide comes in, then it'll all be fine. <laughs> um, so, yeah, there we go. I finally got the right height and I was able to put some stairs in. Um, so, yeah, there we go. There's a couple stairs just so you can kind of come down further. So there's the dock. Um, not quite like that. I will kind of flatten it out. There we go. Yeah, so the dock kind of comes down um, into the water quite nicely. Um, and I'm going to put a couple boats. I believe I have a sailboat and a rowboat. Um, no engined boats because it just didn't feel appropriate for the house. So you can see here I'm just putting a little um, offshoot for it there. Yeah, that's pretty much the dock. Very simple, very nice. Um, if you can see it's a little bit tall. Um, be a bit of a challenge to get out of the boat, but that's all right. So yeah, so that's pretty much the dock right there. Just putting a little bit of fencing on it so you don't fall off. Um, and just changing the color of the stairs. Yeah, so that's the dock right there. It looks quite nice. Um, and yeah, so are we going to continue landscaping? I don't, I'm not sure. Um, oh, man, I'm going to add a little bit of, um, yeah, this kind of technically counts as landscaping. A little bit of a bump underneath the dock with a bit of sand there. I don't know, it just looked a bit nicer. Um, and yeah, actually we're going inside here. The doors and uh, the kitchen. Now the kitchen was the most challenging part of the interior. Um, I had a lot of trouble and I spent a lot of time on it. Um, because I kept just reconfiguring it and changing it um, because I just didn't like it. So this is the first kitchen I started on and it didn't look right at all. So um, I'm going to get rid of it all. So you can see here I'm just trying to get kind of like an island going on. and um, But there's not really enough room for stuff. I was going to put the sink in front of the windows and I actually do try a lot to make, try hard to make it work. Um, but it really doesn't. And here I was stacking shelves. I don't know what I was doing there. Um, yeah. Um, Oh jeez. Um, yeah, I'm going to put the sink in front of the windows, but it doesn't look right because I hate the way it cuts off the windows, and that just bothered me so much. And the way you can just kind of see the sink like right through the windows like that, I just ugh, didn't like it. I tried to cover it up with some ivy and some plants, but it just looked hideous. Um, so you know, it was a little bit of a challenge to get this to work properly. Um, but in the end, it turns out really nicely. Um, I really like the way the kitchen turned out. Um, yeah, I'm trying to cover it up. I leave the ivy there though. Um, not that much of it, but I do leave that little piece of ivy because it's kind of nice. Slight, uh, nice and quaint, I guess. Um, yeah, so that didn't work, so I just completely get rid of that kitchen um, uh, right about now. Um, yeah, there we go. Yeah, that was just disastrous. Um, so here I'm going to try to reconfigure it in this corner, um, and it doesn't work here either. So, uh, I mean, eventually I get to it, of course, but it takes me a bit of time. Um, yeah, that was glitching. That was annoying that kind of angled countertop. I was trying to do it, but it just didn't work. Yeah, I mean, because I wanted to keep the kitchen kind of styled to match the house, because it has a very quaint cottage um, by the beach, and I was just making the kitchen too modern, and it was too dark, because you can see there's no really natural light in there, um, and that kind of bothered me. So I, I do put in more windows, and um, it makes it look quite a lot nicer. Um, I'm gonna get new different cabinets as well. Yeah, but this is pretty much the kitchen um, layout done. It's just not the fit and finish that's going to be. Um, but the layout, I believe, is pretty much final. Um, not 100%, but pretty close. Yeah, so I'm trying to get it to work, and now I'm changing it up completely. I wanted to kind of have it like a closable off kitchen. Um, we could like close some curtains on it, and it would be gone. That kind of thing. You can see the point curtains there, but I knew the refrigerator wouldn't be usable if those were there. So I was trying to put an archway in, but for some reason it wouldn't let me put it there, even if I removed everything inside there, and that frustrated me. So yeah, the kitchen the kitchen was annoying. Um, yeah, now, I can't figure out why that archway wouldn't go in there. I just I don't know why. So yeah, I just end up scrapping that idea, and I go back to the way I had it before. Um, and then the countertop stopped snapping together properly, and that was really annoying. So, <laughs> the kitchen was just a nightmare. But I originally get it to work in the end, um, and, you know, it turned out nicely. So, yeah, there we go. I finally just abandoned the kitchen. Um, I put in some more windows, and that really does help a lot. Um, and here we go, trying it again. Um, after this one here, I do change it one more time, but this is the closest it gets. Yeah, right there. Very close. And then um, I've had enough, so I'm going to probably continue landscaping. I'm not sure. It was just so annoying. Jeez. Oh, um, 
Oh, I do put a shelf over there. Yeah, I like the shelf. That's quite nice. Um, and um, yeah, I also put like a little, a little thing over there. I change out the refrigerator. Then eventually, I get annoyed with the kitchen and I go and do landscaping. But um, you yeah, know, that's pretty much the kitchen right there. Um, I do um, add a nicer island and stuff to it. But um, that's pretty much the layout of it. And yes, that was a little bit of annoying, a bit of a nuisance to do. But um, there you go. That's the um, semi-finished kitchen. So. At this point, I had enough of the kitchen, so I'm doing flooring here. Um, I go with a nice kind of light flooring, um, and um, yeah, I'm going out to landscaping, like I said, um, because I just got I, I just did not feel like furnishing. So um, I do a lot of rocks and a lot of flowers, and it looks really nice. Um, I get these kind of fan leaf um, plants, and um, a bunch of palm trees, a bunch of flowery trees. It just really is lush, and it looks very tropical, and I like the way it turned out. So you can see here, I'm just putting some dirt under all the plants and stuff. Um, looks really nice. A bit of sand under the house because grass would not be growing underneath the house. Um, a bit of dirt was mixed in with it as well. And um, and then the stairs. I didn't leave any room for stairs, so I had to move everything out of the way. But um, yeah, so we got nice stairs. I'm not sure if they're usable. I presume they are because I kind of put the plants back close to them, but I think they're still usable because um, I've seen Sims just walk right through plants like they don't exist. Um, and there's a little bit of a pathway there and the mailbox and the trash can. And, um, yeah, so I'm just going to put some outdoor lighting in. Just some sconces. I can't do um, ceiling fans. I would have, but because there's no ceiling um, on the porches. It just kind of slants upward. Um, yeah, so just a bit of landscape lighting um, around the place. Usually I do this at the end, but I felt like doing it in the middle this time. And a bit of deck um, flooring, a nice honey-colored um, decking. I really like the look of it. Um, you know, it's kind of tropical, I guess. So, yeah, it's a nice honey color um, for all the porches and stuff. Yeah, so that's pretty much um, the outside done, I would say. Uh, I'd probably go back and tweak it, but um, I would say it's 99% finished at this point. Um, yeah, just touching everything up. Um, I'm actually changing the color of the stilts um, because I wanted to change them. So yeah, it's a slightly nicer color, a bit more weathered looking. And um, yeah, so I'm just changing the color of the mailbox and trash can, still postponing doing the interior. Um, yeah, so now I'm finally going to start inside. And the inside is probably my favorite part, one of my favorite parts. I really like the way it turned out. There's a lot of wood. Um, there's wood on the walls, some of the walls, like accent walls, and on the ceiling as well. The, all the floors and ceilings are wood, except for the bathrooms and kitchen. But I really like the ceilings as wood. Um, you'll see it at the very end. I have um, some panning shots, as usual, um, and you'll be able to see it. Um, it looks really cool. And I hope you stick around for that. It's not too long of a video. Also, the um, overview at the end of this video will be also in a separate video as well. Um, not that um, you would care because you're already watching this one, but, you know. Um, anyway, I'm putting some benches on the porches, and I'm coming inside to the living room. So I love the way the living room turned out. Um, it's very kind of beachy um, and kind of, um, like, kind of thrown together over the years. That's the way it kind of looks. Um, it's kind of, at first, I started just putting in the furniture. I found this really big chest um, kind of thing as the coffee table. It looks like a giant suitcase. I really like the look of it, um, and it looks really cool as a coffee table. I think it is a coffee table. I'm not sure where it's from, though. I also got some palm leaf ceiling fans, um, an interesting patterned chair there. Um, I keep that uh, sofa the same um, white. I really like the white. I get this nice lamp here as well, um, and it's changing the color of the chest, and I got a nice little TV. Not an ultra-modern flat screen, because this house is not that kind of house. So you can see you're just changing up the colors, and I love the rugs I use. Again, as usual, um, I use the Into the Future rugs here um, that are supposed to be for plants, but I really like to use them as actual rugs. And I put a really nice wicker pattern on it, and I use it throughout the house, and it's just so nice. It's like my favorite um, kind of rug pattern right there. I really like it. I'm probably going to be using that more often as well. Um, yeah, so just doing um, some wall art here, and you can see the turquoise walls, um, which I failed to mention earlier. And I really like them. Um, you know, it's kind of colorful and beachy, and a kind of matching painting there. And, um, yeah, some artwork behind the TV. And this area here with the shelves is going to be a little work area, and I really like the way this turned out, too. Uh, this is a little chest underneath um, that bottom shelf there. And on it, on the desk here is a phone and a laptop. And I just put a bunch of details on the shelves here, and it looks really cool. Um, also some lanterns on the walls in the living room. And anyway, it just looks really cool. I really like the way this turns out. Um, it, looks, it looks, you know, kind of like it, it was kind of put together over the years. They found stuff. Um, at like local stores and stuff, and they put them on the shelves and display. Also, the oars. Oh, I love those oars. They go really well in nautical themed housing. Um, so I just put that there, and also a lifesaver 
Is that a lifesaver? I guess it is. Um, they are on the wall by the uh, laundry room. Also got some of these stringed lights um, here um, to go underneath the bottom shelf there. Middle shelf, sorry. And the yellow horse. He's in all of my houses uh, of recent times. Um, I just love that little yellow horse. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, I really like that area. Um, putting in another wicker rug down the hallway and another ceiling fan. Also getting in some curtains. I really like the curtains I use here. Um, they're really nice, elegant curtains. I think they're from Generations. Um, if I can see the little icon there briefly. They look really nice, a uh, nice kind of soft green color. So now we're coming back to the kitchen, um, as it seems, and I'm changing out the cabinetry um, to something I like a little bit more. I'm also getting in an island here, which I really like. Um, I like the island. Yeah, so it's a nice island. I'm also going to put the oven in there. Um, and I changed the tile color because the green is not the most pleasant of greens. It doesn't really match the wall. Um, a, couple, a few smaller windows so they don't kind of clip through the countertops as well. That's a bit nice. Um, and some bar stools, only one of which is usable. Um, the other two are kind of put in there um, to look like they're kind of just kind of thrown about, but they're not actually usable. So, yes. Um, anyway, getting in some lighting, some little candles um, in little um, cages. And there we go, new countertop color. It's kind of like a yellow and beige color. Um, a bit of shelving um, above the window and above the sink. And, you know, just a bunch of details. Got like a fruit bowl. Um, some ores by the back door, um, some, a little pot of flowers, um, there's the dishwasher, always useful to have. Um, yeah, I just really like the way the kitchen looks. Um, you know, it's quite small, but yet it has a lot of prep area, and it has that um, bar you can sit up at, island kind of thing. Um, it looks really nice. Um, there's a little food blender, um, and also I get in some artwork on the wall there. Um, I really like that artwork. I like the way you can kind of change the color of the um, bit around the painting. I'm not sure what the technical name for it is. Um, I really like that. Um, getting a bit of sink, uh, I mean, a bit, a bit of soap by the sink, not a bit of sink by the soap. Oh dear. Um, the tongue twister there. Um, also a fire alarm there, which I just noticed I put in. That's always useful. I believe I put a burglar alarm in too, so you don't have to worry about any miscreants coming to the house um, in the middle of the night. Also, a nice um, little teacup, I guess. I'm not really sure what that is. I really like that from Supernatural, though. I've been using it a lot. Also a hand towel and some kitchen utensils. Just a bunch of details. Um, and it looks really nice. It looks really cozy and lived in. A bit of a mat there under the sink as well. So the dining room, I was going to put a six-seater table, but it was just too big. So I put in a four-seat table um, with all furniture from Island Paradise. Um, probably a lot of the furniture in this house is from Island Paradise, but um, yeah. Because, you know, it just fit in perfectly. I'm a bit of a plant by the door there, um, and our plant here by the art easel. I know it's a bit weird to have an art easel in your dining room, but then again, it's not a very formal house. It's kind of more of like a vacation home, or maybe even something that your sim would rent out. If they could do that, that would be really cool. I've always wanted that feature where you could rent out like a second property, because with Island Paradise, they let you own more than one property, and I think it would be really cool if you could kind of rent out houses. Um, to other sims, like second properties, and make some money from that. But anyway, that's not the point of this video. But uh, right here, I'm just doing the laundry room, actually. Um, a bit of colorful um, hand towels and mirror there, which is quite nice. Just a pretty basic laundry room. Got a, a washer, dryer, sink, and you know, just a bunch of details, as usual. Um, a bit of a high shelf there. I don't know if your sims could reach it, but that's all right. Um, yeah, so now we're doing the bedroom, it appears. Now the bed, the nightstands, and the bookshelf I'm going to put in here are all from Island Paradise. It was actually part of the limited edition that you only got if you purchased the limited edition of it. So I don't know if a lot of you will have it, but um, if you download it and you don't have it, it will just replace it with um, content you do have. So don't worry about that. But I really like it because it's kind of rustic. Like I love that bookshelf. I have like a boat hole and the bed, which kind of like has sails um, for drapes. It just looks really cool. I really like the look of it. Um, yeah. So also it's got red walls in here, kind of like a rose color, um, which is really nice. I like that color. I also have a nice um, um, wardrobe there, and these little chairs, these really colorful chairs, I like the look of them. Um, and they're, they're really cool. They're also from the same um, Island Paradise limited edition set. Um, also a little bit of lamps on the um, table there, which looks really nice. And some plants here, um, one of those fan leaf plants. Um, and some curtains, of course. Um, I kept the green. Um, it kind of clashes with the red walls, but it's a nice contrast. Um, coming into the bathroom, which is the final um, room inside the house, and um, it's pretty simple. It's just got double sinks, um, double mirrors, which is nice. Um, also a toilet and a shower and a, and a bathtub. Now the shower is one of the shower from the store, which 
it's not enclosed, and your Sims will actually wear bathing suits when they use it, so. But I like the look of it. I like the open shower kind of look. I mean, it'd be a bit inconvenient considering there's wooden walls and ceilings. Um, that's an open shower, but, you know, it's the Sims. We can do whatever we want. Everything will be fine. Um, yeah, so just getting a little bottle of soap there, which was a pain to place. And also, I put a rubber ducky on the um, bathtub, which I really liked. I like the rubber ducky. Um, you'll see, I'm going to go in here and get it out of by debug. <sighs> little rubber ducky. There he is. Right there. Yeah, and um, that's pretty much the interior finished. So we're coming outside, a bit of a grill, and a little bit of a lounger, and that's pretty much it. So everybody, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy the rest of the video. There'll be more coming up after this, the overview and such. And yes, so I hope you enjoyed. Um, and don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. I love to hear what you have to say about my houses and stuff like that. I love to hear your feedback, and um, I really like that. It's my favorite part of making these videos is hearing what you have to say about them. But anyway, I'll see you next time. I hope you enjoyed, and have a great day.